Hi everyone, the Medicine Hat Tigers brief playoff run is over. The Tigers swept Saskatoon in the first round and then got swept by Edmonton in round two. The Tigers opened up the scoring last night in game four while shorthanded. Hunter Shinkarik with the nice move to slide it in on the backhand and it's 1-0 for the Hat. Good start, but the Oil Kings responded seven minutes later. Dylan Rockfed Henrik Samuelson, who then passed the puck to Trevor Cheek and his fifth of the postseason tied the game up at one. To the second period we go now. The Tigers retook the lead. Coming up here, Kyle Becker with the shot. It was tipped by Boston Lear. It's now 2-1 to one, Medicine Hat on the power play goal. The Tigers had some fight in them last night in this one as opposed to game three. Third period, Edmonton tied the game up again. It was right off the draw. Watch the puck get tipped into the air and then batted in by Samuelson. Not a high stick. It's a goal, and this game is tied up at two. Then Edmonton took their first lead of the game. 39 seconds later when Dylan Ruck dropped it for Griffin Reinhardt, who hammered it past Cam Lanigan. 3-2 for the Oil Kings. They added an empty netter when Samuelson fired it all the way down the ice, scoring from Long D to make it a 4-2 final score for Edmonton. So the Oil Kings sweep the Medicine Hat Tigers in four straight, and the Oil Kings look like the strongest team right now in the WHL playoffs. Afterwards, we heard from the coaches. Um, you know, Sean had them prepared, ready to go tonight, and uh, you know they they played a really good game. They didn't pack their tents. They uh, they really stepped up and and played us hard. So uh, we knew it was going to be a hard game. And I just think t until our guys get out there and experience that energy, you know, they uh, they don't really understand as the coaches tell them until they see it on the ice. Come as far as we did with that group. It's it's you know very very rewarding for the coaching staff and the players. You know, should be very proud of themselves. They should hold their heads up high. And now the Oil Kings await the winner of the Hitman Rebels Series. Game 5 of that affair is tonight at 7 o'clock at the Saddle Dome. I'll have highlights for you on our late show. It is the biggest weekend in the golf world, and it couldn't be any bigger than uh, be any bigger for the top, sports top player. Tiger Woods has won the Masters Tournament four times already, and now that he's playing a little better, the fervor to see him play has driven up ticket prices. Some are paying up to ten grand for a four-day pass to the Masters. Josh Elliott reports. If you are looking for a hint that he's back, just try getting in to see him play. Fans are flocking to see Tiger Woods chase a fifth green jacket at the Masters this weekend. And ticket prices for the competition have skyrocketed on the secondary market. A four-day pass to the Masters now going for as much as 40 times face value. It's a fever pitch. It's palpable out there. You can really tell that people believe Tiger's going to play great. Tiger Woods number one in the world again. And after three tournament wins thus far on the year, Woods is back at the top of his sports world ranking. It was nice to get back to rank number one. You know, a lot of players who've tried to get there and haven't been able to do it, and I've been able to get there a few times throughout my career. Meantime, his attempts at public redemption have been buoyed by the announcement that he's dating skier Lindsey Vaughn. Still, many believe nothing will complete his return from past well-worn transgressions quite like another green jacket. And while there are no guarantees in golf, not with pros like Rory McIlroy and even 14-year-old newcomer Guan Tian Lang also roaming Augusta, where Woods hasn't won since 2005. That, his longest winless streak in any major. So will this one be his fifth act? We have very expansive careers, and I feel like I'm you know, basically right in the middle of mine. So I have a lot of good years ahead of me, and you know, I'm excited about this week. And as you just heard, teeing off with the world's best players at the Masters is the youngest player ever to compete at the event, China's Qianlin Guan, who's just 14 years old, Jackie. Guan got into the event after winning the Asian Amateur last year, which is also very impressive. The teen says Tiger Woods gave him some tips about the golf course, which appeared to be helping him with his game. Today he shot a plus one and is currently tied for 45th on the leaderboard. Tiger is minus two. The clubhouse leaders are Australian Mark Leishman and Spain's Sergio Garcia at six under. Whoa. Coming up next, we've got some really fun video for oh, good. you. Good. We're going to show you a raccoon <laughs> that can walk tightwaps and a moose that goes shopping.